Hello, it's Linda here and today I've got this project for you. So it's one of these really cute sort of file tabbed post-it note holders. Is I've used some 3x3 three three post-it notes and I have used the envelope punch board in order to be able to create these file tabs. Okay, so anyway, I hope you like it. I think it looks quite sweet and smart actually, but I'm going to pop, pop it to one side now and I'm going to show you how you can put one of these together. So thanks very much for popping along and joining me today. Okay, so to start with, what you're going to need for this project is a piece of cardstock and I'm working with Coastal Cabana here, one of my favourite colours. And this piece measures seven and a half inches by three and one eighth. And then I have this piece, and this piece measures seven and a half inches by three. And all you're going to do with that is stick it on there. You'll find that there's just a very slight edge on each side, okay? So I'm just gonna get that stuck down. Okay, so that's stuck down, and now you just need to bring in a scoreboard. Okay, so what you need to do is score at three and a half inches, like that, and at three and seven eighths. So I'm just going to fold that on those score lines and just crease it very gently with my fingers so I'm not going to damage this pretty DSP. So find the other score line, which is there. Okay, so we now have that. You'll see that this side, one side is very, very slightly shorter than the other. Okay. So working on the short side, just going to grab my envelope punch board. So remember this is the shorter side of the two. So what you want to do, zoom in, you want to line up the edge of your cardstock with the, with the centre of that nozzle there, okay, and punch. And then what you're going to do is shimmy your card along to the two inch spot here. Okay, so just place it as close to that two inch spot as you can and punch. Okay, and then what you're going to do is flip your card. And we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. Okay, so it's with the design side facing you. Line it up at the center of your nozzle punch and then just shift it across to roughly the two inch mark. And at the moment it's looking like that. Okay so I'm just going to take my scissors now. I have seen people use the um, trimmer for this but I'm not going to. I'm literally going to rely on the eye and just cut along up to that point there in a nice straight line. I'm going to do the same on this side. Okay, and actually this paper is quite good because you can use these stars here as like a guide, but um, it's not too difficult just to come across like that. Okay, so really nice and very easy. Okay, and then I just want to pop a little sentiment here. Okay, so I'm going to be using Coastal Cabana ink because that will tone beautifully with my cardstock. Okay, and I'm using Thoughtful Banners stamp set here. Now this is a really versatile set with lots and lots of little sentiments or words, which really do come in useful. But I've just chosen to go with this one, which says, hello. Okay, so just open my lovely new ink pad, load up the color here. And I'm just going to type, type, <laughs> I'm not typing at all. I'm going to stamp the word hello round about there, like that. Okay. 
and then I'm going to take one of these note um, post-it notepads. Okay, now this is three by three inches. I picked up. I think these are a bargain. Um, in here in the UK, we have um, a great shop really, which sells off um, stationery and all sorts at really, really good competitive prices. And I picked up this pack for 79 pence and as you can see look we've got five different colour assortments in there three by threes okay so I think they're really great value for money so I'm just going to take this one and sit it here now you can stick it down if you want to if you've got these pads yourself they would sit there like that and obviously oh god stick it straight <laughs> oh blimey Right, so I'm popping it round about there, and as you can see, this comes up, and that's fine. Um, I'm going to make myself a belly band. Okay, so this is just, um, I had a piece of scrap, and I've cut it down to one inch wide, and all I'm going to do with that is take it, I'm going to pop it round about here, on the front of my little pack, crease it, crease it round the back, and then bring it round the front so that it meets up here. Okay, like that. And I'm, I'm not going to bother cutting that down. That's a good size and I'm going to be covering that join there with my little topper. Okay, so I've got a piece of double-sided tape. So I'll just pop that across here. Okay, just put this back in and bring this over like that. So it's looking like that now. And I'm going to keep my ink because I just need that. I should have a scrap piece of um, DSP. So I'll just take that. Now I'm using a little stamp from this stamp set, so it's a double, it's a two piece, two part stamp set. But I've just chosen to use this sentiment here for you. So if you've got any little um, small sentiments at home, they're ideal for this sort of project. And I'm just going to stamp it about there, like that. So I've got my one and three eight circle scallop circle punch here. And I'm going to just punch that out, try and get it in the centre. Okay, so I've got my one and a half inch circle punch here, and I've got some scrap So Saffron cardstock. Now, this is the Tea Room, special, um, tea room DSP. Um, papers that I'm using here and on the front or on the packet it states that um, this yellow that you see here is crushed curry well I don't have any so I'm using so saffron and it actually tones really well so with my one and a half inch circle punch just going to punch that out I'm also going to use my one and three quarter inch circle punch just to punch out a piece of coastal cabana and I'm going to layer these all on each other. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I've got some glue on the back of here, and I'm just going to stick this to the front of my little yellow disc. Get that stuck in place. Then I'm going to use some dimensionals for the back, just to give it some dimension. Okay, I'm just going to now place that onto my coastal cabana circle. So now you can see it's got a nice bit of dimension. And now I want that to sit centrally on the front here. So all I'm going to do is just take myself some glue and pop that onto the front in the centre like that and just wait for that to dry 
and there you have it. You've got these really, really cute little post-it note holders. Okay, I think that's a really nice project. Um, something nice to slip into, um, I don't know, a stationery pack. You know, post-it notes are always really nice and handy. So, so that's it from me today. Um, thanks for coming along and joining me. I will be back again with another tutorial for you very shortly. So, bye for now.